Now, let us discuss question number 18 from exercise 15.4, chapter 15. In triangle ABC, P and Q are respectively the midpoints of AB and BC and R is the point, R is the midpoint of AP. Prove that area of triangle PBQ is equal to area of triangle ARC. Second, area of triangle PRQ is equal to half times area of triangle ARC and area of triangle RQC is equal to 3 by 8 times area of triangle ABC. Now coming to the solution. Let us note down the given information that in triangle ABC P and Q are midpoints of AB and BC respectively. And it is also given that R is midpoint of AP. So here let us join AQ, CP, CR, PQ and RQ. Now in order to <coughs> now in order to prove the three here let us initially consider that in triangle CAP as here R is a midpoint of AP here we can say that AR is equal to RP therefore we can say CP is median of triangle CAP to base AP. So in any triangle we know that median divides the triangle into the two equal halves. Therefore here area of triangle ARC will be equal to area of triangle CPR. Area of triangle ARC will be equal to area of triangle CPR which will be equal to half times whole area of triangle CAP. Let this be as equation number 1. Now in triangle CAB consider CP as a median then it divides this triangle into two equal halves in areas that is area of triangle CAP is equal to area of triangle BPC. Let this be as equation number 2. From equation 1, we know that half area of triangle CAP is equal to area of triangle ARC that is equal to area of triangle CPR. So let us consider that area of triangle ARC is equal to half times area of triangle CAP. Then we get here. 2 times area of triangle ARC is equal to area of triangle BPC. So this is from equation number 1. Now let us consider in triangle PBC as Q is a midpoint of BC we can say that BQ is equal to QC therefore here PQ will be the median. And that PQ divides area of triangle into two equal halves that is area of triangle PBQ is equal to area of triangle PQC is equal to half times this whole area that is area of triangle BPC. From this we can say that area of triangle BPC is equal to 2 times area of triangle PBQ. Let this be as equation number 3. Now substituting 3 in 1. If we substitute 3 in 1 then we get 2 times area of triangle ARC 
is equal to 2 times area of triangle PBQ which implies area of triangle ARC is equal to area of triangle PBQ this is for the first proof we required again consider the equation number one that is area of triangle ARC area of triangle ARC is equal to half times area of triangle CAP which is equal to half times as here CP is median of triangle ABC since it divides AB into equal halves we can say that it divides the area into two equal halves here therefore area of triangle CAP will be half times area of whole triangle ABC which is equal to one fourth times area of triangle ABC since CP is the median consider in triangle RBC BQ is equal to QC therefore we can say that RQ is the median here as RQ is median here we can say that it divides the triangle area into two equal halves that is area of triangle RQC here becomes half times area of triangle RBC which is equal to half times area of RBC can be obtained by area of RBC can be obtained by eliminating area of ARC from triangle ABC therefore here RBC will be equal to area of triangle ABC minus area of triangle ARC which is equal to half times area of triangle let it be as it is area of triangle A ABC let it be as it is minus in the above we got that area of triangle ARC is equal to one fourth times area of triangle ABC which is equal to half times let us take here area of triangle ABC common then we get 1 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 times 1 minus 1 by 4 is nothing but 3 by 4 and here we have area of triangle ABC which is equal to 1 by 2 times 3 by 4 is 3 by 8 and into area of triangle ABC so finally we got that area of triangle RQC is equal to 3 by 8 times area of triangle ABC this is what the third proof which we required now let us consider the triangle QAB in triangle QAB that is here as shown QP will be the median therefore that divides the area into two equal half that is area of triangle BPQ is equal to area of triangle APQ which will be equal to half times whole area of triangle QAB and also in triangle QAP we have QR as a median then area of triangle PRQ will be equal to area of triangle ARQ will be equal to half times 
area of triangle QAP. In this, consider first and last terms. Then we get area of triangle PRQ is equal to half times area of triangle QAP. Here, QAP can be also written as half times area of triangle PAQ which implies that area of triangle PAQ will be equal to 2 times area of triangle PRQ. Now we have an equation that here let it name it as equation number Roman 1. In Roman 1 consider only the first two terms that is area of triangle BPQ is equal to area of triangle APQ which implies which implies here instead of APQ triangle we can write it as 2 times area of triangle PRQ here let it be as it is that is area of triangle BPQ which implies area of triangle PRQ is equal to half times area of triangle BPQ which is equal to half times in the first proof we got that in the first proof we got that area of triangle PVQ is equal to area of triangle ARC so here let us substitute area of triangle ARC that is from proof 1 therefore here finally we got area of triangle PRQ is equal to half times area of triangle ARC this is what the second proof we required